Hey y'all, Nick Pomeroy here with PR Equipment in Kearns, Texas. Hey, today we're gonna shoot a quick uh, walk around, kind of a promo video here for the 2020 RT Pro from Spartan Mowers. Um, we did a, a, a video similar to this last year when we first got our very first batch of mowers because this year was our first year to sell these mowers. So we did one on a 2019 RT Pro. It had the Kawasaki, this has a Briggs engine in, on it, but the components and things are basically the same. Uh, so we're gonna do it just kind of like we got a couple of these kind of pre-build 2020 models in We're gonna do kind of a walk around and show you some of the controls and things like that Show you a few of the upgrades But we're gonna go around it from a from a standpoint of somebody who's maybe never experienced a Spartan mower before So that you can see all the features and things and it's not just the updates um, So we like when we did this in 2019 we were pretty new uh, now We're hopefully gonna go through it in just a little bit more detail We've sold a bunch of these mowers. The RT Pro just happens to be our most popular model. Um, it's at a great price point and it gives you a ton of features and options. It's a very big, it's a very heavy duty mower for, for the price point. Um, and in comparison to, to other manufacturers, they, this, this really kind of sets in its own class, you know, because you're getting a larger mower at a, at a better price point than most mowers. Um, but anyway, so I want to kind of start with just the basics and that's how to control the mower. So what, uh, we'll start here with the pedals. One thing that's kind of unique to Spartan, there's probably other brands to do it, but I know Spartan is, uh, does it this way. Uh, so we have a park brake system. It's a twin pedal park brake. So if we can get in on this just a little bit, you've got two pedals here, you've got lock and unlock, and then there's a solid steel rod going back. So the, the best part about that is, is one, it's hands-free operation. So it's independent of your arms. So if you're pulling on a trailer or something that's maybe got a slope and it's wanting to roll, you can use your park brake without taking your hands off the controls. So that's a really good feature. The other thing I like about it is it's, it's really, really um, reliable. And the, primarily that's, that's because we don't have cables. We're, a lot of times on other mowers, you've got a lever and there's cables running down to the brakes. And those things tend to, tend to give you more trouble than the, like I say, this solid steel rod that we're using. Um, so I'm a big, big fan of the way we do the park brakes. And like I say, it's just really nice to not be having to use your hands while you're trying to drive the mower. Uh, but anyway, so, so we like the way that's done. We also have our deck height pedal. So our deck height pedal, uh, there's a lot of different ways to do the deck height. We use the pedal system and then this deck knob. You can kind of hear that rashing. So it gives you uh, probably 12 or 15 different positions for the deck height, all ranging from one inch to five and a half inches. And then there's a transport position, which is where it's at now. That's the highest position it can be in. Uh, but it's shock assisted, which takes a lot of the weight off the deck. So it's easier to push than it would be, you know, if you were obviously trying to lift it all yourself, because it's a heavy deck. It's a very well-built deck. Um, but because of that shock assist, it actually helps you lift up on the deck and makes it really easy to do. Um, but you turn it to whatever position you want, you release that foot pedal, and then it goes to that position. So you can, you can, like I say, you can find your different positions going up to back to transport lock, and that's transport. Um, so, so that's a really, really simple way to do this. You can add electric deck height. Uh, it's, it's real simple. It's already wired for it, and it's even got the switches here in the control panel. So the sweet thing about that is, is all you'd have to do is just buy the kit or bring it in. We can put the kit on real fast, plug it in, already got the plug, you're good to go. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, but just even with the pedal system, it, it's really handy to operate and it's, it's easy to do as well. Um, next step is kind of our control levers. So all zero turns have control levers, right? And ours are no different. We do have a very smooth operation though. And part of that ha has to do with, there's a little uh, shock absorber on each side. What that does is provide just a little bit of resistance so it's not so jerky, so it's very smooth, right? Then we've got our, our, our neutral. Uh, moving over, you can kind of look at some of the other controls here, which is our control panel. So I'll have, we'll kind of zoom in on that just a little bit, and we'll go over kind of some of the features and functions here. So I've got it unlocked already. I'm gonna set the, the brakes, but so here's some things I like. So we've obviously got the hour meter. The hour meter is gonna stay on, um, but the, the control panel goes to sleep all by itself when you get up off the seat. It also has a tachometer, so we can tell how fast the engine is running. Uh, you know, that's maybe not something you'll use a lot. I like it because we have the ability to, uh, to basically, it, it's nice on the back end in case we're working on it, we can tune the engine and we can get it right where it needs to be because we know how fast it's running. For you, or for me, when I'm actually running, because I have a Spartan mower at my house as well, 
when I'm running my Spartan mower, I like to, you know, sometimes I'll just pay attention, you know, if you get into real, real heavy grass, because I'm the kind of guy who doesn't always mow on time, I'm always busy. But I like to kind of see how hard it's pulling down or how far it's pulling down, if I, how fast I'm going. You know, I'm probably pushing it a little faster than I ought to. But, but anyway, so it's kind of, it's, it's more information, right? You might not need it, but it's there. You do have a voltmeter as well. That's going to let you know kind of how, how much juice you got in your battery. Um, and so that's kind of a handy thing to check because lawnmower batteries can be a little fickle at times. Um, then there's a wrench button. The wrench button is going to tell you when it's time to change the engine oil, right? So when I hit the wrench, it says change oil in. It says change oil in 19.2 hours. That's because it's got like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 hours on it. And that first oil change is at 20 hours. And then you can reset it by pushing and holding that wrench button. We have a video on that as well. Uh, but once it's reset, it goes to 100. It adds 100 hours to that, to that interval. Um, so that's a really nice feature to help you kind of keep track of when to change your oil. Uh, and as we go along here, I'm going to deactivate some of these because this is one of my favorite things with a lot of mowers, you know, maybe somebody jumps on the mower, maybe it's somebody who doesn't typically operate the mower and you hear, you get the phone call and they're saying, Hey, the mower won't start. Well, this is just some handy little checks for why it might not be starting. So all mowers have safety switches. We have safety switches too, but we're going to tell you what position the safety switches are in. So the cool thing about that is, so we've got one for the oil, right? So if you get low on oil or whatnot, it's going to throw up a little uh, LED there. It's also got uh, the, the one for the battery, in case the battery voltage drops too low. But there's four little LEDs here, and those are all the safety switches. So I'm going to hop up out of the seat and let you see that one, right? So there's a, there's a safety switch for the seat. There's one for the park brake. So anytime one is out of position, you get a little red LED. You're going to put that back. There's also one for the PTO or the deck, right? So if the deck is on, you can't start it. So once all four of those are gone and you don't have any of these other safety switches, you get the, you get the green light. Once you've got the green light, you push and hold the start button, you can start the engine. You've obviously got your choke and your throttle here as well, so you can control the engine. Um, but that makes it really, really handy. And of course, there is no key, right? So, so there's no key to lose or anything like that. It's just a simple key code, uh, which is programmable. We have a video on that as well. Uh, but you can program it to anything you want, four digit code. You put that in and that unlocks this control panel. And then once, you, once you're no longer using the mower, it goes to sleep. Uh, so that's a really, really handy feature. Uh, but one other thing that, that this is gonna do is with our deck engagement. So you can see that our, our PTO switch is integrated into this control panel. So there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, but the biggest is, is what we call soft start engagement. So what tends to happen on a lot of mowers is it's just a switch, it's just bam, it's on. So you engage the, the PTO clutch and it just hammers on as hard as possible. With ours, it's, you pull up on it and it slowly engages the clutch. It happens pretty fast, so sometimes you don't even notice it. But basically what we're trying to do is not pull the engine down so, so far and also it's gonna save some of the stress on some of the components because when it, when it hard engages, a lot of times you're slipping belts and you're stretching belts and things like that. Um, so with the soft start engagement, it happens over just a couple seconds. It's very, very brief, but it slowly engages that clutch in order to get everything up to speed, not pull your engine down so hard and not, not stress out your components so much. Uh, and one other thing you'll notice is it's, it's pre-wired for lights and for that deck height we talked about earlier. So you can add an LED bar and we're going to have another video that kind of goes into the accessories and things, but there's an LED light bar that's really easy to install and there's a connector down below the seat that is just plug and play, right? So you, you just install your light, run your cable and plug it in. Uh, and then this switch here on the control panel will activate it. And there's also the switch for up and down for the mower deck. Uh, so that kind of goes over the control panel. Uh, one last thing on, on here over by the control panel is just the 12 volt power outlet for your cigarette lighter. Uh, and it's got a little cell phone plug so, or a little cell phone pocket here. So that's really nice. If you're on your mower much, it, it makes it pretty sweet to be able to charge your, your device here right on the mower. Um, but that kind of goes over the controls. Um, it, we're gonna hop off the mower and do a quick walk around now. Okay, so quickly uh, recapping this RT2020 walk around video. So first and foremost, probably the most important part of any mower is the deck. And there's no different here. The Spartan deck is, is kind of the center point, right? That's what we're doing, we're mowing grass. So I'm a big fan of this deck. It's built extremely heavy duty, but I love the fact that, you know, right here it says step. A lot of mowers out there say do not step. I have a ton of customers that come in and when we're doing our, when, when, I'm, when I'm walking around and showing them the mowers, 
they're real hesitant to step here, but absolutely feel free to. It's designed to do that. Uh, in fact, that, that sticker, the decal right here, has like a, some grip stop in it to help you so you don't slip off. But it's also got a, it's got little pointy things here so you get traction. So this deck is absolutely designed to be stepped on. It's very heavy duty and it's, and it's supported with, with the, on each side with, with heavy duty mounts and things. So we're gonna start just kind of talk about the deck and then we'll talk about the frame and we'll kind of go back from there. But I think the deck is a good place to start. So it's a seven gauge deck, right? It's got a rub rail here. I'm a big fan of that. It's a poly rub rail. It's about a three quarters of an inch thick. What's nice about that is if you're running up alongside the house, you know, concrete foundation or whatever, it's that rubbing and you're not scraping the heck out of your deck. I'm a big fan of that. The scalping wheel on the 2020 uh, is actually moved in from the side just about one inch, well, maybe an inch and a half. Um, the reason why is, is so that, you know, if it's clear out on the edge, you, you tend to maybe hang it up just a little bit more on like a chain link fence or something. Uh, so on the 2020, it's moved in just a little bit. But one thing that's consistent with all the Spartan decks is that we're gonna always support these scalping wheels on both sides, right? It's very heavy steel. I think it's quarter inch on each side of that. Um, but no, all the way across the deck, on all the decks, they're always supported on both sides. You'll see a lot of other manufacturers out there only supported on one side, and as soon as you hit something, you'll bend it, right? You hit it a couple times, it's way out of whack. So I like the fact we're supporting on both sides. The next thing here is our scalping wheels, they are greasable, so they have a little grease circ there but they're also solid plastic, right? So you're gonna get a long life out of that. Um, the next thing to note is right here along the front, it's a 9 16th bar stock. It's been reinforced, welded on here. I call that the impact zone. We actually guarantee that for the life of the unit. But what I like about that is I have, uh, here in Texas, in my part of Texas, we've got crawfish mounds. When then things dry up, it's like concrete, right? It's these tall mounds that drop like concrete. Depending on where you're at, you probably don't know what that's like, but. We, we gotta run them over. There just ain't nothing else you can really do. And so it's nice to have that impact zone to kind of knock those down. We also have fire ant mounds and all sorts of other stuff. But I like that that impact zone is reinforced like that because you know you're never gonna damage it. Um, so we've also got, and this is new for 2020, we've gone to these polymer uh, shields. So we got these new shields. Uh, these are actually, believe it or not, this is kind of a, a update over last year. Last year was steel. But we had a few little things that, that was kind of annoying with those as far as the, the metal on metal would rattle a little bit if they weren't tight. If you kept them tight, you wouldn't have that trouble. Same thing with the little deck knobs that hold these on. They were actually coming in from the side with, with, the, with thumb knobs that had studs on them. And so they're fine as long as you kept them tight. They had some lock washers, but over time they could rattle loose. So if you didn't check them, you might lose one. Uh, and, and they would also it had some extra bracketry on each side so that it had some place to screw into. If you notice, all that's gone. We've got this very, very high quality uh, guard. I'm a big fan. So we've got that. Uh, we can talk about how we hang the deck. So we've got this, these like 3 8 laser cut brackets. I mean, it's just very, very heavy duty. There's no chains. You know, some other manufacturers use chains or whatnot or some, some kind of like, you know, little thin metal here. This is all 3 8 laser cut steel. All of our brackets are, are made that way. So I like that. Um, moving to the center here. This is the, one of the best things too, is how easy it is to work on. So you can pull that cover off. There's no tools required for that and get to the belt and the spindles and the tensioner and everything. So you come in here, you can see our cross tube and that's running side to side and that's what's gonna help raise that deck. That's, our, that's that cross tube there. You can even see that, that break, uh, the steel rod for the break. But there's a grease circ on each side where that, where that uh, cross tube, or that rod there pivots in those uh, trunnions. Um, and there's also, there's a grease circ back here on the, on the, for the tensioner on the deck belt. But we've got these spindles here, three spindles, three blades. So this happens to be a 61 inch deck. This model is available in 54, 61. Spartans in general go from 48 to 72. So 48, 54, 61, 72. This just happens to be a 61, very popular size of deck for us. Um, but if you notice here, we, and it's probably hard to see from up there, but we get a lot of belt wrap around that center pulley. What we're doing that for is, is it, makes it, it makes it to where our belt doesn't have to be that tight. So we're just trying to do a few simple things to prolong the life of the, the wear parts. Um, Cause belts wear out, but if you can take a little stress off of them, they last longer. Um, one thing that's unique to Spartan 
is all decks are tensioned with a spring, right? That's just how it's done in the industry. That's no different with Spartan. It is tensioned with a spring, but we're gonna add this shock absorber in. That's called our anti-vibration system. And so what that's gonna do for us is uh, when you're starting up the mower deck or when you're you know, going through different varying you know, thicknesses of grass, the, the load changes and you start to get belt width and it, it causes vibration. Well, what, what we found here is with this simple anti-vibration system, it slows that spring down so it doesn't react quite so quick and it cuts out a lot of that belt width. What that means to you is less vibration sitting in the seat. What that means to the mower is, is less, less stress on like the belt, you know, so we're not whipping it and every time it's whipping, it's stretching just a little bit. So that's a really nice thing. And it's also very easy to clean. It's a very flat deck on top. You know, there's very minimal, minimal brackets and all that on top. So it's very easy to clean off. So that's a great feature there as well. I like to say, real simple just to put that on. We could talk for just a second about the center scalping wheels. There's plural, two, still supported on both sides, but we put two there in the center just to kind of help you prevent those center scalps a little bit. Um, over here on this side, once again, another scalping wheel. Like I said earlier, they're all solid. Uh, another, another cover here, but what we have is this very heavy duty rubber grass deflector. Uh, it's, it's a, these are very, very nice. And, and this is probably one of the things I get complimented on the most when it comes to mowers. It's just the simple fact that it holds itself up. So if you need to flip it up to go through a gate or whatnot, it's gonna hold that up and you're not always holding down here, hanging it up. Um, there are some accessories here that, that are called a quick shield that we'll talk about later, but it, it's a really nice option that eliminates the need for that. Uh, but once again, very heavy deck. It's, it's, it's a great feature on these. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna move around and we're gonna talk a little bit about the frame. So the frame on, on all the Spartan mowers, it's a one piece, inch and a half by three inch tubing, right? So it's bent all the way around the back. There's not any stamped steels or bracket or anything like that. It's a one piece uh, steel tube all the way around. It's got some weldments across it to brace it, right? Uh, but it's nice, it's one piece. Coming down here, cast iron front forks just makes that a little heavier, right? So on the RTs and the SRTs, we're gonna have those cast forks. Um, they did come out with 2020. There's actually some, uh, there's, there's a kit that you can get for front, uh, front shock absorption, right? So uh, we'll talk about that at a later date, but we now have a suspension option for the front. It's pretty slick. Um, so I'm gonna move it back around a little bit more. I kick that out of the way. So this GT track that you see here has to do with how we're gonna handle on our side hills. So we've got these big wide tires, we've got, a, we've got good weight displacement, and all of that ties into how we're gonna hold the side hill. So these mowers are designed to be the best in their class at side hill hold, and they do just that. They're very, very good on side hills. Obviously, you get on those inclines, some mowers wanna walk away from you. Um, I've heard a lot of my customers who've owned other brands come in and we'll put them out here on one of these demo mowers and get them on a side hill. That's one thing I do here time and time again is how well it will hold on. Uh, so we kind of talked about that. I guess I could talk about some specs here. The, the tank is nine and a half gallons on the RT and SRT. So that's a nice thing. Oh, and I forgot to mention these handles have some adjustment to them. You can actually slide them out. And if you got to, you know, you need more room here, you can, you can slide them out, it's pretty slick. Um, talk a little bit for just a second about probably one of the most, maybe the second most important is comfort, right? So the deck is important. We need a good heavy deck, but we also need to be comfortable when we ride the mower. Um, so I like to talk about it in terms of levels of suspension. So each Spartan mower has kind of a different setup. So each model has a different setup in terms of what all suspension components we have. I always talk about the, the seat being the first, the first of those components. So we have a number of different seats available. This is the RT seat. Um, there's SRT seats, RZ seats, there's, there, and there's a couple new seats, uh, plus the full suspension seat. So there's a lot of different options. You can do some upgrading and things. But I really like this seat. It's what I like to call the hugger style seat, uh, but it's, it's, and it looks really, really nice as well. And, uh, but it's, it's very comfortable. Got lots and lots of cushion. The next level, and of course it is adjustable. Uh, the next level of suspension is going to be what we call the 360 plate. So there are three rubber isolators. Here's number one, two, three. The reason why we have three is so we can get some roll. So if you check this out, it'll allow it to roll side to side. It, it's a very simple idea, but it makes a lot of sense because a lot of times you're not hitting those bumps straight on. You're kind of hitting them at an angle and you get that, you get that side hill or that side roll. I'm a big fan. It does make a difference. So we're going to, now that we've kind of covered everything on the front, 
I'm gonna flip the mower around uh, and we're gonna look at it from the back, check out a couple of real simple features, then we're gonna pop up the seat and check out what's under the, the hood. Thanks. Okay, um, I'll flip the mower around so we can kind of get a look at some of the things on the back here. We're kind of in a tight shop, so we kind of have to work with what we have as far as space. I don't have a great place to do this. Um, but so one of the, this has got to be the best idea on a mower ever. Uh, we put a receiver hitch. Spartan has a receiver hitch built into the, to the rear frame. I don't know why nobody else has done that, but it makes perfect sense. So it just allows you to mount up all sorts of attachments and hitches and things. You can grab a hitch off your pickup, you know, and slide it in there and it's gonna work. It's just a two inch receiver hitch. Um, sprayer trays, pulling little spreaders. I got a guy who backs his bass boat out of his garage with his mower just because he can. Um, so I, the hitch makes a lot of sense. One other thing, we got this folding Ross bar. So obviously it's foldable for storage. It, for safety's sake, you're supposed to run with it up. Um, and it also allows you to mount a canopy. There's a really slick canopy that comes with it. We'll probably have another video for too long. I'm just gonna like put every accessory we have on one of these and go over them one by one. But for the time being, this is a stock unit. Uh, so we've got this roll bar here, and of course you just fold it down and, and you, can, you can pin it and then you're good to go. Um, but I wanna talk about the tires. So kind of an aggressive looking tire, uh, but it's really pretty easy on turf, right? So I have the, actually the exact same tire on my Spartan. Uh, and I have not had any issues with, with turf ripping, but it, it's two things. It, it's called a soft ride radial tire because it actually provides a little suspension, runs at a little bit lower PSI, um, which gives it more cushion, but also they, they look really great with this mower. It's just that the tread is matched really well to, this, to the aggressive look of this mower. So I'm a big fan, but it's also a very large tire. And so that helps us with their side hill hold. Um, it's like I say, great, great matchup. Um, real quick before we pop this up, we'll talk about the engine. So one thing that I'm always try to do is keep it really easy to work on. So the goal here is that you're able to work on anything you need to work on without removing anything. So you don't have to take any shields off or anything. If you need to change the oil, the oil filter is really handy to get to. Uh, checking the oil right here, draining the oil. It's got a little drain hose, pretty slick. Now this is the. Uh, this is the Briggs Strat Commercial 27 horsepower engine. That's an 810 cc. It's actually, I think, probably our, our most popular engine. Provides a good horsepower for this. It's a good matchup, uh, and they've been super reliable. I can't think of any real issues that we've had out of them, and we've sold a bunch of them. Um, and it has got an oil cooler on it, which I'm actually a big fan of. You don't start seeing this on some of the other, you know, manufacturers' lines until you get up there a little ways. But but I'm a pretty big fan of this engine. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's something to like about all the engines and we haven't had really trouble out of any of them, but this is a popular engine, so you might give this a consideration. Uh, it, it is also economically fees or economically beneficial, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, but it's a, it's a good option, so, so don't overlook this. I, I really like that engine. Um, so I'm going to pop up the seat and we're going to go inside, but I'll probably have, have Doug come on around and we'll get in here and start looking at some of the components in here, just so you can get a little bit better view. Okay, we got the, I like to call this popping the hood up, but this, we flip the seat up. It's really easy to do. It's got a little latch, but then you flip your seat up. It allows you to kind of get in here and, and work on things. So that's the other thing we talked about this is just how simple these mowers are. Uh, you want a machine that's nice and simple, easy to work on. A standard set of wrenches will do about anything you need to do to this thing. Uh, most of the Fasteners are either going to be half inch or nine sixteenths, but if you got a standard set of wrenches, you can do basically anything you need to do. So one thing that kind of sets the Spartan apart from a lot of competitors is just how clean and simple things look. You can see down in there ju just how open and, and, and accessible things are. And we'll go into the components here in a minute, but I wanted to kind of finish up my, my talk about the suspension. So stock on the RT Pro, the, the standard features is these GBR7s. And those actually provide a little suspension for the for the seat tray or for the for the seat plate. Uh, so that that's a nice feature. But we can also and I'll, you kind of look forward here. These slots here, that's actually for for the the tech pack system, which is standard on all the RTHDs and up, and then all the SRTs. Uh, so it's a it's an adjustable style of seat suspension, which is really nice. It does make a big difference. Gives you some adjustability. You can slide them forward or back. And, and it just it adds it just adds to the performance of the suspension because we want it to be a very very comfortable ride for you. 
because it matters, especially if you're mowing my lawn. It's it's a beating sometimes, but on my Spartan, man, it's it's night and day different compared to what I was mowing on. So much, so much nicer. Um, so our battery, really easy to get to. Our fuses, real handy. They're just right there on the side. You can get to them without even flipping the seat up if you need to. These are the Parker transmissions. Uh, Parker is really, really well known throughout the hydraulics industry for, for all their hydraulic components, pumps, and all sorts of things. These transmissions are no different. They're extremely reliable and they back them up really, really well. These particular models, these are the 10cc models, have a three year and 750 hour warranty on them. It is a serviceable style transmission with filtration and a fluid interval, but it's low maintenance. So your first inter interval isn't until 250 hours and then every thousand hours after that. So the chance that you change the oil twice is, is probably not super likely because hopefully you've traded it back into me by then. Um, but we just want to talk, just, just show you just how easy it is to get to everything. You can see these connectors over here. These are the connectors for the, for the light and that's for the, for the electric deck actuator. You know, if you needed to adjust a switch or adjust the park brake, all those adjustments are readily available. Um, so we just want to talk about just how easy it is to get to everything. So I hope you kind of enjoyed this walk around and kind of overview of what the 2020 RT Pro is. We love these mowers. Uh, last year was our first year to sell them, but we had a great time doing it. And, and the best part is it made a lot of customers really happy. Um, what you get with this with the price point is, is really good. So that kind of brings us to our, our last and final point. Uh, that I guess the, the million dollar question is how much is it and the warranty, right? two biggest things when it comes down to the facts, right? Um, so warranty first, they've actually extended the warranty for this year. Uh, so now, used to be three years, three years, and three years on the transmission engine and control panel. Now it's just three years across the board. This unit's gonna get three years and 500 hours, and we're gonna extend that to our commercial customers. So that's a great thing. So that makes it really attractive for commercial guys. We've got quite a few commercial customers and we're growing all the time that are using these in their, in their fleets. Uh, the other thing is it's transferable. I think that's pretty unheard of in the industry. I've, I've worked with other brands and things that they typically do not want that tra warranty to transfer. So if you sell it, that warranty's over. Uh, a lot of people don't know that until till they go to try to, you know, maybe warranty a, a unit that they bought used. But the fact of the matter is a lot of times the warranty doesn't transfer. And so by Spartan extending the warranty and also making it transferable, it, to me it just says that, hey, we're standing behind this product, right? Doesn't matter if you're not the first owner. The fact of the matter is we said we're gonna guarantee it for this 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 term and we're gonna do it. Uh, and, and like I say, Spartan is a great company to, to, to sell for as far as they do stand behind their product and, and we really, really appreciate what they do. Uh, but finally price, right? That's what it all comes down to. Can I afford it? The cash price on this machine here with a 61 inch deck with the with the Briggs Stratton engine is $63.99 this year, which if you compare this mower to other models from other brands for the size for how heavy duty this thing is it's a great price you know payments on this thing and i guess i should have looked all this up but i'm gonna guess about 135 bucks a month maybe even a little less than that it did go up uh but it it's gonna be really affordable to own one of these and that's with zero money down um and, and that's what makes this model so popular for us and why we sell so many rt pros and the whole lineup is great. There's some big changes coming with all the different models, but our RT Pros are, are one of basically our favorite model. We, we sell a bunch of them, and you, hopefully you can see why with this video. So guys, check us out on the, on the web. We're at PREquipmentSales.com. Check us out on YouTube. Hopefully that's where you're seeing this video. Please hit subscribe. We're always adding new videos and tech tips. So if you do own a Spartan, check out our tech tips uh, playlist. We've got videos on there of just common little things that you could do, adjustments and things, and we're always adding new stuff there. Uh, check us out on Instagram, uh, or, or to give us a call, 903-270-0877. We'd be glad to help you in any way we can, and if, and if you're looking for a new mower, let us know. We'd be glad to get you into a new Spartan. Thanks.